Hi everyone, welcome to Channel Logics. Hope all you guys are preparing well and staying safe at your home. Since we have started our online classes in this one year span of time, we have trained several thousands of students preparing for various competitive exams. If you want to meet our expert faculty team, you can meet our expert faculty team and we are going to come across with best and unique content which will help you to crack your examinations in a smart way. We are going to teach each and every subject very clearly in detail. And we are going to come across with best and smart approaches which will help you to crack your examinations in very short span of time. Our expert faculty team is going to teach you each and every subject very clearly in detail. If you want, you can join our free foundation batch. This free foundation batch, you need not pay any money for this. And in this free foundation batch, you can meet our expert faculty team who are going to teach each and every subject very clearly in detail. If you have any doubts, you can contact us through these numbers. And we welcome you to be part of Channel Logics. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome back to Channel Logics. Today we'll be discussing 22nd November current affairs. So in this session, we'll be going to do descriptive session and as well as some of the list of Swatch Survection Awards to at the end of our session we'll be discussing. So try to listen the class carefully till the end of our session. Now let us start our session and first we'll be starting with our international current affairs. So here when you when we were discussing about international current affairs so you have to move across after the session the points majorly here today in current affairs regarding the country called Russia. So then after the session, once you have to make a note regarding India and as well as Russia, what are the past relationship between these two countries? So that parallelly you can cover the dynamic part and as well as the static part. That means here, even the historical background of a two countries and the relationship between two countries you will come to know, right? So now here, actually it is in current affair regarding Russia. That is, Russia successfully test or fired a hypersonic cruising missile called so here you have to concentrate the hypersonic cruising missile name that is Zircon. Actually here even we will be discussing about the other satellites too and whatever the coming across a missiles which is named as Nodal. So these are the two session, two concepts we will be discussing in our today's class. So first one it is a hypersonic cruisal missile that is recently actually Russia has successfully test fired. It has conducted a test fire that is about all Zircon. Then if you move to the part actually this hypersonic cruisal missile from the frigate and that is from a Admiral Gorkhov warship and which is rightly hit the test target placed which is in Russian Arctic waters. So actually where the test fire has been conducted right. So that is the region. Then here first in this concept you have to remember like the cruisal missile name and as well as the other part is what about the title and as well as actually where it has conducted the test. And this Zircon is a test that is a hypersonic cruisal missile. This is a missile from, from the country called Russia. So about the country name and the missile name then from where it has conducted a test fire whether it is successful or else not it is successful successfully conducted a test fire now you can move to the part as i have said you the other missile which was named as a nodal actually this is a russia's destroyed in its own satellite in the low earth orbit and that is using an anti satellite missile we call it as a asat what is that anti-satellite missile that means this will be used to destroy its own satellite and as well as which actually led to the formation of cloud of space debris and comes to your descriptive part question the first one is try to mention in comment section what is the meaning of space debris already we have discussed in our previous sessions about space debris if you have notes just once you go through it or else try to find out the meaning of space debris and here that could actually potential the destroying the orbiting and as well as satellites in the international space station iss and it is if it is needed once you go through the concept called international space station is it clear actually now here in this session we have discussed about russia successful test conducted test fire regarding hypersonic zircon missile so try to remember the name that is like rz is it clear 
that means Russia's zirconic missile. So recently it has conducted a test fire. And apart from this, if you will be moving about the static GK regarding Russia. So Russia's capital is Moscow and the currency is rubble. If you want to make the notes regarding static GK, so try to cover parallelly in our sessions. Next we'll be moving to defense news. So, INS Vishakapatnam commissioned into Indian Navy. Now, we'll be discussing about INS Vishakapatnam. And actually here, out of four, this is the first INS Vishakapatnam recently, which has a class of destroyers, right? So, out of four, this is the first one. And if you can move, INS as we have said. So, Indian naval ship, that title is Vishakapatnam. Actually, this is a... P-15B Stealth Guided Missile Destroyer. So try to concentrate. This is a Stealth Guided Design <coughs> Missile Destroyer. And actually it has been commissioned into the Indian Navy at the Naval Dockyard of Mumbai. And this is as, a, as just now we have discussed. This is the first one out of the four Vishakapatnam class destroyers. And now you can see the features even we will be discussing about INS Vishakapatnam features too. But first you have to know actually this has been designed by the India's Navy which is in the house organization directorate of naval design and which was constructed by. So here you have to make a di difference which was designed by naval design and then you have to consider which is constructed by a magazine dog. Magazine Dock Shipbuilders Limited of Mumbai. So try to concentrate because sometimes even along with the features there will be a chance to rise. In our previous session also we have discussed about practice questions right. So regarding defense news like certain INS or something like which was designed by which organization there will be a chance to rise a question or designed by which organization or else constructed by which organization. So these are some of the different types of questions will be asked from defense news along with the features of a concept. So here you have to consider about the constructed by magazine doc and which was designed by the directorate of naval design. Then if we move to the features of INS Vishakapatnam, actually this is having a capability of measuring 163 meters in length and 17 meters in breadth and with a displacement of 7400 tons. Then as we have said that it was recently commissioned that is in the presence of Rashtra, Raksha Mantri Sri Rajnath Singh. So here along with the part here you can know the defense minister too that is Rajnath Singh. So even try to make a notes of static GK along with the concept. Is it clear everyone? So this is all about INS Vishakapatnam which was recently commissioned into Indian Navy. And apart from this the features and who has actually which organization designed and constructed. So these are the areas you have to concentrate. Next we will be moving to sports news. So here Lewis Hamilton wins 2021 F1 Qatar Grand Prix. So even as we have discussed about like Brazilian Grand Prix right. So even previously actually here you have to make a list in 2021 what the different Grand Prix have took part and in that who were the winners. Top 3 winners is necessary to know. So even we have discussed like in our previous session about Brazilian Grand Prix too right and that is also related for F1 racing. So here F1 is nothing but Formula 1 which represents that means a, a person who will be participating in that should follow a set of principles. So that is why this racing is known as F1 racing. Is it clear that means Formula 1 set of rules should be followed by a, a person who will be participating in that racing. And here Lewis Hamilton wins. Actually, the first position which was acquired by Lewis Hamilton. Then if we will com come to know about the top three positions of a person who actually won in this Grand Prix, that is 2021 Qatar Grand Prix of F1. So here the second person is Max Verstappen from Netherlands and the third person is Fernando also from Spain came third position. So here top three is important while you are considering the achievements. Then we'll be moving with this win. Lewis Hamilton has become the first driver to have won at the 30 different circuits in the Formula 1. So try to make the significance of Lewis Hamilton. Try to make a note because sometimes if there is a chance to raise the question. So see, consider here example. The question will be in this format. Like what is the name of a person who has become the first driver to have won the 30 different circuits in Formula 1. What your answer should be? Your answer should be Lewis Hamilton. 
Next, we'll be moving to important days. So, the first one is World Fisheries Day, which is actually celebrated on 21st of November. So, here if we move to the objective of a particular day, that is about World Fisheries Day. And also, we'll be discussing even the historical background regarding this important day, that is World Fisheries Day. Actually, here the objective is that it highlights the importance of healthy ocean ecosystem. What is that about the ocean ecosystem and as well as ensuring the sustainable stocks of fisheries in the world. And here 2021 represents which edition or which anniversary of celebrating this World Fisheries Day. So, this represents the fifth edition of celebrations of World Fisheries Day. So, this is all focusing on what? This is focusing on a you can see here oceans ecosystem. Then moving to the part. Actually here the first World Fisheries Day was celebrated in the year 2015. So here at least with the starting year if you have remembered then you can easily make a note that 2021 represents which edition? 2021 represents fifth edition of the celebration of World Fisheries Day. Right then moving to the part actually on the same day there is other significance that it was the grand opening of International Fishermen's Organization which was held in New Delhi. So here on the occasion of World Fisheries Day, even there is another opening that is the celebrations is about the opening of International Fishermen's Organization which was in New Delhi. So this is all the main objective is what? That is to rise the importance of healthy oceans ecosystem. So this is a major objective to celebrate a particular day. Then if we move to the historical background of a particular day. That is actually a forum for the World Fisheries Consortium which was established under the year 1997 and here which is act the forum is actually pre represents and famously known as WFF World Fisheries Forum. So under this forum actually how many countries have been signed and actually who has participated. So several participated uh, participants across the world has took part in this World Fisheries Forum. And in this nearly around 18 countries signed a global consensus document which is represents the standardization of the practices. And here you can see the memories of this World Fisheries Forum actually represents in 1997 which lay etched in the pages of the history because you can see here a new form of working pattern of the fisher folk community. So here try to concentrate the community name to that is fisher folk community. And which was started in the year and the decision came up with this the formation of World Fisheries Forum. So with this establishment of WFF so they have started and they have come up with the idea separately about the fisheries and the oceans ecosystem. But from the year 2015 they have started to celebrate a particular day which is on 22nd or 21st of November. So this is all about World Fisheries Day. So for some important days here you have to concentrate whether it is an international important day or national important day. Whether it will celebrate particularly around the world or else separately in India right. So here actually World Fisheries Day which represents an international important day which will be celebrated overall across the world. Is it clear everyone? And also you can remember here regarding the actually about the historical background. What is the historical significance to celebrate this particular day? Next we'll be moving. World Television Day is observed on 21st of November. As we have well known like how a television plays an important role in our daily lives too. Right? So, to bring and to about to mark the significance about the importance of television, actually this day will be celebrated on 21st of November. Then we will be moving to the part, the main objective is that this day is a reminder of a power of visual media. And apart from this, how it helps in shaping the public opinion and influencing the world politics too and even entertainment regarding education as we have seen that even th in this pandemic situation so many were like towards a power of visual media so in that visual media television plays an important role as we have known and as we have experienced in this pandemic situation even education entertainment like everything will be telecasted through our television right so this is a major important day and that means in our daily lives also whatever we'll be using so even for a particular things or particular you can see about the medias so there will be an important day that is regarding even like world radio day right. So in this way there will be some important days regarding the things whatever we will be using in our daily lives. So here comes to the part called television. 
and actually this television has played a significant role in the lives of people as we have known and it is a medium that provides entertainment education and also which is like transmitting of news politics and gossips etc as we have known and here which helps in transmitting the moving images in two or three dimensions and sound so here a little bit that you have to know like what actually television plays an important role then you can see first actually world television forum wtf actually for this forum has been established in the year 1996 which is took part in united nations so here united nations held this world television forum that is on 21st and 22nd of november so here 21st november consider as an important day for world television day and here you can concentrate even this world television day is also comes under the part of you can see here what is that international important days then this day provides a platform and allowed the media which is to discuss the importance of tv in delivering the information and exchanging the information and as well as how it participates in changing the world it is the single largest source of video consumption so this uh, this is the, in these are the various importances and the advantages and benefits of television so this is the objective to celebrate an important day called world television day on 21st of november next we'll be moving to the obituaries so here comes to the veteran punjabi folk singer gurmeet bhava recently passed away and she has passed away at the age of 77 and due to a prolonged illness actually she has passed away then while we are discussing about obituaries you have to concern it about the achievements and her working experiences like as we have said that she is a punjabi folk singer right so we have to know the significance of a person when she was alive actually here she was famously known as a best for her long heck here heck represents breathless that is opening of a punjabi folk song called which is called like ho this is to create a melodious voice with an unbreakable wave that means she used to hold her voice for about 45 seconds is it clear so she is best known for that actually she was famous that she 40 seconds she'll be on hold with the to create a, that is a song calling ho that is a punjabi folk song actually first she was alive and when she was alive actually she was first represented and she started performing on a doordarshan and become the first female from that is as a punjabi female singer to appear on the national television channel called doordarshan so this is all about the significance of a person and recently gurmeet bhava passed away at the age of 77 due to some of the illness next we'll be moving about the awards as we have discussed about swarth survection awards in our previous session so now here is a complete list for you people that regarding about the swarth survection awards for each and every city as we have discussed that nearly 4320 cities the survey has been conducted but among that they have they will be selecting like 340 to like 320 to 340 cities right so in that there is a complete list like how there will be separate categories is it clear so based on the urban local bodies also there will be these award they will be presenting the awards so if you can know first like the cleanest city is indore and cleanest ganga town is varanasi then moving to the cleanest state which is in two categories that is the first one is with more than 100 urban local bodies chatisgarh then moving to the less than 100 local bodies is which represents jharkhand so here there will be like different categories they will be awarding the swarth survection awards so even as we have discussed that in 2021 the significance of swarth survection awards is that this became the world's largest cleanliness survey because in just 28 days they have conducted the survey regarding cleanliness that is to face the challenges of covid-19 pandemic how many cities actually just 28 days they have surveyed 4320 cities they have started up and surveyed regarding the cleanliness so here and like first it stands for cleanest city is of indur and indur stands as a cleanest city and this is the fifth time it is topped in the first and if you want to take a notes just pause the video of each and every slide and take clear notes and here is a complete list of swarth survection awards of 2021 next comes to the cleanest city which is less than 1 lakh population so here you have to consider what are the different categories they will be presenting these awards 
so based on the population based on the urban local bodies and even you can see here like small city medium and big city these were categorized based on the population so you can see here Vita city of Maharashtra New Delhi municipal corporation council and as well as Noida that is of medium city then comes to cleanest big city is Navi Mumbai and then next comes to the category which is regarding of cantonment boards the first one is Ahmedabad cantonment and the districts district wise if you can see this is a Surat and fastest mover small city and as well as best small city in citizens feedback so these are the different categories this is clear based on, even on the feedback and as well as Safai Mitra Suraksha challenge also they have selected a particular cities so here moving to the mover small city is Madhya Pradesh and then comes to the part based on the citizens feedback it is Tirupati Maharashtra and then you can see here top city in Safai Mitra Suraksha challenge is Navi Mumbai so here Navi Mumbai has placed in the two situations so try to concentrate and the second one is Safai Mitra and if you move to the first part that is about the cleanest big city so here two awards were represented that is presented for a Navi Mumbai so try to concentrate and if you want to make the notes just take clear notes that is a complete list of Swatch Survection Awards there will be chance to raise the question because even in this 2021 actually represents a significance too so based on the significance also there will be chance to raise the question and even after the session once you go through the concept called Safai Mitra Suraksha Challenge is it clear what is the objective of establishing this Safai Mitra Suraksha Challenge so with this we have done with our session and if you are still having any doubts please mention in comment section and feel free to mention in comment section we will be discussing in our other upcoming classes thank you everyone we will be meeting in our next session with some other topics until then stay tuned stay safe and stay home Oh, oh, oh.